Hi, this is a little video on step functions. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at what we have here. Boom, that's good. Okay, so it says use the direction, so use the function to answer the question. And what we're taking a look here, look at here is this function. So here's function, Let, let's just do a quick review of function notation. Now remember, function notation, f of x, right? Um, if we take a look at our, a coordinate plane, we have, right, we're used to x, right, on the horizontal plane and y on the vertical plane, but now we have this thing called f of x. And remember, f of x is basically the vertical plane. So, the, <laughs> so the, this is just function notation, but another way to think about it is it's a representation of y or the vertical plane, okay? <laughs> and um, so, it says, find, what is the value of this function, right, when x is 2.3? Find f of 2.3. And we have to, what we're going to do is replace x with 2.3. But, boy, we've got to deal with this. What is it? What is this? What are these funny lines? Well, this is just some, a new notation. Hey, remember, look, at some point in time, you had to learn what equal, a long time ago. You had to learn what equals meant, and you figured that out. At some point in time, you had to learn what this symbol meant. It meant times, multiply, and or this symbol, right? You've, you've learned what all these symbols are. They're so ingrained in you, you probably can't even remember a time when you didn't know what these things meant. So now we just have a new symbol here, that's all. We've got some lines, and watch how, watch how easy this is. So this is the greatest integer function, or otherwise known as the floor function, that might be an easy way to think about it, is it the floor, because look, it's kind of holding up the floor there. It kind of creates a little floor here. And um, in a little while, we'll take a look at the other one that is called the, the, is called the ceiling function, okay? And it's got a little ceiling to it, okay? So, but <clears throat> let's take a look what this means. And basically it says that greatest integer function assigns the greatest integer less than or equal to each real number in an interval. So I know there's a whole bunch of words here, but but you know the best way to view this or to think about this is through the number line. And I love a number line. I come back to the number line all the time. Whenever I get stuck or I'm not sure what to do, I go to a number line. Or if it's a little bit more complicated, I go to according to plane. You know, um, make basically making a making it concrete. So we have zero, one, two. Three O, oh, you know, ignore these little symbols here. They don't mean anything. I just it, my pen got it, went around a muck. So um, let's let's plot two point three, right? Two point three. It's approximately right there. So it says find the greatest integer that is less than what you're talking about. We're talking about two point three. Find the greatest integer. Remember, integers are one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's not the stuff in between. It is just a one and just a two and just a three. See, now we're we're using the words and the information that we learned a long time, you know, oh, two units ago. But look, it always comes back. And so if you're not sure what the definition of integer is, you're gonna be a little stuck here. Make sure you know the definition of integer. Um, it says find the greatest integer less than or equal to each real number in an interval. So here's the number we're talking about, 2.3. The greatest integer less than that is going to be wham o 2 Let's take a look at 2.8. Let's plot 2. You know, suppose it was 2.8. 2.8 would be right here, 2.8. And again, the greatest integer, right, less than the number we're talking about is also 2. So the interval here that they're talking about is everything greater than 2, right, and less than 3. 2.014 is part of that interval. 2.9999 and on and on and on is part of that interval, okay? The interval is everything greater than 2 and less than 3. Anything in that interval is going to automatically revert back to 2 and that's what it's going to be that's what's going to be called. So there we go. The floor function. It goes it's holding it up and it's telling you to go to the lowest, the integer to the left, okay? So let's take a look at this. F of 2, whoops, 2.3 is equal to the greatest 
integer uh, um, less than 2.3, okay, boom, minus 4. Well, we just figured that out, that, that, that it's going to be 2. So it's going to be 2 minus 4. And 2 minus 4 is just negative 2. Bam, that's it right there. Now, so here we have the greatest integer function. Let's take a look at another version of this. The least integer function assigns the least integer greater than or equal to each real number in the interval. Well, wow! If we just did the least in the, the greatest integer function and it went to the left, what do you think this is going to do? It makes a little ceiling and it's above it. So, you know, let's take a look at this one. Boom, we'll make our little number line again. Number lines are awesome. Zero, one, two, three, and we'll plot our little point there, 2.3. It says, assigns the least integer greater than or equal to each real number in the interval. Here's 2.3, it's in the interval, and it's greater than or equal to the real, to this. So we're looking in this direction, we're going to three right here, bam. Suppose we were at 2.8, 2.8. Well, it's the same thing. It's going to go to 3. So anything in the interval greater than 2 and less than 3 is going to automatically revert up to 3. And let's do a look. Look at the notation. That is one way you can remember. It's going up. It's going above. It's going, it's going higher. It's going to the integer that's, you know, that's the, the next integer up. Okay, so let's take a look at f of 2.3 is equal to uh, 2.3 minus 4. Well, we just said that, hey, the least integer of 2.3 is 3, is equal to 3 minus 4, it's, and 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So f of 2.3 for the least integer function is negative 1, okay? I hope you found this helpful.